What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing the regional bird of Paldea. We got ourselves a Kilowattle team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Kilowattle, this Pokemon is super dope, especially because of its typing of flying and electric. It also has an amazing ability with competitive to deal with big time intimidate users, such as somebody I will not name in the top left hand corner in the rank ladder. So competitive really works well up against intimidate users. Kilowatch is also holding the focus sash for today's video with the Ghost Terror type, rocking a great moveset of Thunderbolt, Hurricane, Tailwind for Speed Control, and last but not least, Protect, just a top tier move that I think every Pokemon should be rocking. To pair up with our Kilowatch is going to be our Weather Setter, Politoed. Now, Politoed can set the rain, and Kilowatch can hit Hurricane 100% of the time in the rain, which is really good. It's a stab move, so big time damage for Kilowatch in the rain. This Politoed has Citrus Berry, it's got Haze, which is such a good move in this format, Protect, Icy Wind, and Weather Ball. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Incineroar, Rillaboom, Sneasler, and Ursaluna. Rillaboom and Incineroar are staples in the meta right now, so I, I'm not even going to talk about them. If you guys don't know what they do, then just, I don't know, figure it out. They've been they've been, they've been been in the meta for too long now. Sneasler over here has got Unburdened with the Grassy Seeds to pair up with the Rillaboom, doing big time damage with Dire Call, Close Combat, and Throw Chop, and Ursaluna with a Life Orb does massive amounts of damage on the special attacking side, and we'll probably be using that if we're going up against a Trick Room team. Other than that, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Kilowattro in ranked regulation H. First match on its way, going up against a superior team. So probably contrary superior, rocking like Leaf Storm or something like that. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for. They also have Murkrow. They have another contrary user with Malmore. So we're gonna have to deal with that left and right they got volcarona weavile and last but not least basculation who they might end up bringing in here we'll see but i think kilowatch is going to be a decent lead here just kind of deal with the uh the superior and uh we can set up tailwind so i got two different options with that so kilowatch are going to be the lead i could also bring in like roll boom sneezer because sneezer is actually pretty good here it definitely is pretty good i'm scared of like superpower boosting like defense and just having them super bulky but i think we could deal with it I think we can deal with it. Um, we're gonna go Rillaboom, but do we lead Rillaboom? I could lead Politoed. Get that weather going. Plus, I can haze away all the stat changes if I want to, and just weather wall away. I mean, that's pretty good. What is your terror type here? Grass. That's good as well. So you know, I'm gonna go Politoed here. I'm gonna go Rillaboom, and I am gonna go Sneasler. I think Sneasler is gonna work fine. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We are gonna deal do that. All right, cool, 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 cool. The Sneasler with the Grassy Seeds really pairs up well because you get rid of your item and then it has Unburden which will like double its speed when it's not holding the item. So it's just like a perfect little combo considering Sneasler is more of a heavy hitter and not a big bulky Pokemon. So being able to outspeed and just deal massive amounts of damage is really where Sneasler thrives at. So Kilowatch is going to be a lead, leading it with Poly to it. I don't mind just sending Hurricanes. But Murkrow and Malmar are going to come out here, which I don't mind. I mean, I can always just haste, haste sat changes away. Which is good for us. Um, I could start Weather Balling, which is also good for us. They're probably going to set up a Tailwind. I think from here we just match the Tailwind energy. Just get Speed Control. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to throw a Weather Ball into Malamar. Makes the most sense. Nice little Weather Ball sending it. I wish Politoed had followed me. If Politoed had followed me, this Pokemon would be amazing. But Sunny Day is going to come out here. Alright, so I mean, that's fine. Tailwind's going to fly for us. And Weather Ball is going to turn to fire and still do respectable damage. Right? It's not going to do as much damage, but it's still going to do... And eh, yeah, okay, that damage was okay. Superpower is going to launch. We're going to have to haze this next turn. Just get rid of all the stat changes. Don't really feel like dealing with that. And they probably set up a Tailwind, right? So I'm going to go haze. I am just going to launch a Thunderbolt and just keep chipping up damage onto this uh, Malmar. That's my play because we know they're going for Tailwind already. We already know they're going for Tailwind. Yep, there's Tailwind. So Tailwind launches, he's like, hey, yo, I'm bulking up here. Like, no, you're not. We're just going to get rid of this all day. Thunderbolt's going to launch. How much damage are we doing here? Respectable damage. And Rock Slide's going to launch. I didn't know you were rocking Rock Slide. Kind of scares me. Get a critical hit on my Politoed, and I bury up. <clears throat> so it's good to know that hopefully Killwatcher outspeeds both of these guys. That could be really good for us. This Haze is now going to launch. We're just going to get rid of his stat changes, and we're just going to constantly just try to pull off some damage here. Hmm. I could go Thunderbolt and Icy Wind here. Kilowatch, you gotta be faster than Smurker, correct? Yeah, for sure. Now, do I Thunderbolt? 
this Murkrow or do I attack the Malamar? I think I'd go for the Murkrow because he probably thinks I'm attacking the Malamar here. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to... I might hard swap the Politoed. I might hard swap the Politoed just into you. Just so I can get out Sneasler next to it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to hard swap the Politoed. Save the weather just in case they, they're really utilizing the sun maybe with like full Corona late game. We can really pull back and use weather. So I can see him easily protect the Malamar. And they withdraw Murkrow. That kind of hurts the soul. I could just attack the Malamar. You're going to go into bat. Okay, that actually works fine. That actually works fine. So Bash Legion going to come out here. We're swapping Polytope. We got Rillaboom flying out here. Is Malamar rocking like Sucker Punch? That can get ugly. That can definitely get ugly. I don't think you are, though. Grassy Charge is going to fly out here. Thunderbolt should be able to do really good damage in into this slot. And we're going to go first, which is huge. So Thunderbolt launching, bringing you down to 1 HP. Not 1, like 2. And Kilowatt will dodge this. Rillaboom dodges it. Man, yo, if I could have stole Kilowatt for another turn, that would have been so good. So right now, Malamar's not boosted on any stats. They got Murkrow. We got our boys ready to go. We got Speed flying here, especially with this uh, Grassy Seed's going to pop. And then we still have our boy Politoed. Politoed would have been really nice with, like, Parasong right now. Because if I could just get rid of one Pokemon and then just, like, set up Parasong. Could have called it Endgame. But Sneasel's here to play. So we got Speed Rock and, um... I think Dire Call is just going to be your play into this slot. I could actually double down here. But, again, I think Dire Call and just going for a Grass Guide is in our best interest. Yeah, like, they probably think we're faking out the Malamar regardless. So Grass Guide going to launch. No Protects come out from anybody. Basically, he's going to die out here. Malamar's not boosted on any stats, so that's really good on our favor. And I wonder if this Dire Call can actually pick up KO. I'm very curious to see. Really 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 love this game love a nice little one hp bandit all right cool tailwind's gone whatever fine be my guest we can now go into polytoad we'll start icy wind away i think they bring back out murkrow is that the play really though i should just terrestrialize but <clears throat> really one hp <laughs> i love this game so, Superior's gonna come out here. We got... We're gonna have to Grass Tower our... Uh, what's it called? Oh, wow. We can't really just, like, Icy one. I do have nice, lovely... Weather Ball Fire right now. Well, it's gonna be rain now. The real question is... Is he going to... What's this plan here? I think I just Weather Ball... I guess this slot. Because I'm gonna Grassy Guide Malmar. I got U-turn to deal with that too, but I, I got a Grass Guide Mount March. Get rid of it. Because they could Terrasalize Superior into Fire if they want to. That is an option. That definitely is an option. But I mean, I have U-turn to kind of deal with it as a Grass type. And then I have Weather Ball with Rain to deal with it as a as a Fire type. But they would need Murkrow to pretty much change up the weather if they want to get going with that. I'm going to click that Terra button. Grass Guide is going to launch. Going to KO you with a crit just to rub it in, and you're probably going for Leaf Storm just to boost that special attack rate. Leaf Storm gonna fly, yep, and we're gonna be able to soak another one. I don't know if we're gonna be able to soak. This thing's boosting, it's boosting. Weather Ball gonna launch. I want to go for Ice Wind, but I really didn't want to boost this thing's speed. And actually, that did great damage. That low key did great damage. A Weather Ball in the rain always does good damage. I'm curious to see if we can soak up another Leaf Storm. I'm not too sure, but Tailwind's gone on both sides. They're forced to bring out Murkrow. And Murkrow, I'm not worried about. Like, I know it's going to get up Tailwind. We should just double down into the Superior and try to win this game. Do we think he Terrastalizes, though? Maybe, maybe not. It's going to be Fire if he Terrastalizes. So I just think a U-turn and, and a Weather Ball is our best bet. But he's going to end up going for Tailwind. No Terra pops out here. We got U-turn ready to roll. He's going to go for another Leaf Storm. Can you soak this? You don't. That hurts. That hurts a little bit. I'm curious to see how much damage this U-turn can do. I am curious. Give us a crit here. We got a crit on our Grassy Glide. I'd rather have the crit here. But not able to soak that up really hurts the soul. U-turn gonna attack, and it's gonna bring you down red. It's gonna bring you down red. I honestly think we just wood hammer this slot. You could end up protecting, but I think we just wood hammer it just in case he wants to use his terror, because they still have it, right? That's a correct statement. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Woodhammer. 
The wood hammer is going to be stabbed. If you terrestrialize, slice, it's still going to be able to KO. I don't think you turn can KO if they do terrestrialize. slice. But superior is just going to protect. Mm, my lord. Foul play flying through here. Sunny day. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't mind sunny day unless you got a fire move. Unless you got a fire move. Do you have fire move? It kind of seems like you have fire move. Kind of seems like you're rocking fire terror blast. Is, is that is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? It sure seems like it. It sure seems like it. It definitely seems like that. We're gonna go for Woodhammer again. This has got to be a fire terror for the game winning shot. It's gonna be GG's. I think a lot of superiors do rock terror blast. Leaf Storm, Fire Terror, Protect, and like, I don't know, one other move. But still, we play this one well. I I, I really do think he's going to try to slice and just look to dump on me here. I'd be surprised if Woodhammer doesn't KO. He goes for Rain. What are you doing here? Wait, what's going on? What's going on here? Wow, that damage is absurd. Can I KO with Woodhammer? I really need to. I do. I do. I could just went for U-turn. Now we're sitting here one on one. I don't think I can win this though. Foul play pretty much just KOs me. What was up with the, the, the double switch? I'm gonna go for a U-turn. See how much damage this does. Evo Light just going crazy. I mean, I would hope that you don't have an attacking move. You got Tailwind. Wait a minute. You got Tailwind. You might not have an attacking move. You have Tailwind, Rain Dance, Sunny Day. And what's your last move? Is it foul play? Hopefully it's not foul play. We're going to see a flying tower, which is so perfect. Actually, it's okay. Do you have an attacking move? I really hope you don't. You don't! I win! How do you do that? Okay, I'll take that all day. All stat change is gone. We win this all day. Slowly but surely, you know? Tailwind's going to end. You can't do anything. I win this game all day. I'll, I'll, play, I'll play it all day. What's going to do more? Grass Guy's going to do a little bit more. With stab damage. I'd rather not take recoil and lose this game. So <laughs> I'm just going to go for grassy glides. Tailwind's going to fly. You have no attacking moves. What a way to finish this match. That's on you. That's on you. You could have won this game. I do not regret. People are probably going to be like, wow, Jeans, you probably would have lost if, if Murkrow didn't have it. Or if Murkrow had an attacking move. But hey, that's on their end. We take the win. We're 1-0. So guys, we only have four battles in the brand new season, and we're already in master tier. We're sitting 4-0, almost top 1,000. We're killing it right now. Hopping into our second match. Let's see who we're going up against. We're going up against 227. 227? Come on, man. Come on. Oh, this one's going to be tough. Co-star Flamigo. Rocking out with probably bulk up and eye leap. That is something we might have to bring Politoed in here for, because Politoed can just haze all the stat changes away. So Polito could definitely come up with clutch, just like it did in the last match. I mean, what's called was trying to set up the Malmar early game with superpower, and we just hasted away. But who do I think they're going to lead here? Uh, Torkoal could be a little bit of a problem. I think they're going to lead, like, Annihilate and try to get, like, Kosar Flamigo kind of going. I could lead, like, Rollaboom Sneasler, which isn't too shabby. Hmm, I definitely got to bring Polito in here somewhere. Like, Polito's an absolute must to bring in here. I don't know if I lead Polito. I think I bring Polito late game. They could pop Trick Room early on here, so Ursula Luna could actually be good. I didn't even think about Ursula Luna. You know what? We're going to go here. We're going to go here. And we're going to go Ursula Luna and Polito. I like that the best. So Kilowattro, sorry, buddy. We used you in the first match. We do not we do not need you here. We do not need you here. As much as I like you in the rain, the thing is if we like lose the Weather War, we're kind of struggling with you. But I like Ursula Luna here. If they pop Trick Room, Ursula Luna could thrive out. Our Saluna Bear is just, just OP. It's an OP bear. But Annihilate Frig Raph come out here. This kind of leads me to think that bulk up is is, is the play. Um, I can't fake out, but I can deal some really big damage with Wood Hammer. I really can. Now, do I double down into Frigis? What's my play here? I could double down into Frig Raph. I could split the attacks and hope Wood Hammer KOs. I could U turn pivot. I think I'm going to just going to U-turn pivot and double down into Frigraph. If Annihilate gets off, bulk up, and then I can just U-turn into Politoed and just, you know, do my thing. But Throw Trap going to fly here. I'm hoping U-turn could just pick up the KO. Final Gambit's going to launch. That's where it gets ugly. That's where it gets ugly. So Annihilate gone. They're going to get off Trick Room. Okay, whatever. Be my guest. Get off Trick Room. We can now go into Ursaluna. 
and just play from there. Okay, so Annihilate gone. This isn't the worst situation. But I'd rather have my roll boom. I would really love my roll boom here, but I'm just gonna go into Ursaluna. If they end up going into Torkoal, we can just hard swap into Polito, which is good. And it's gonna be Torkoal. So we're gonna hard swap into Polytoad. We're gonna bring it out here. Um Sneasel will save you for late game. And Ursaluna, we still have Terror type for you. So I could Terra Fairy and just start ripping. Hmm. Or I could Earth Power just try to kill the Frigraph. I mean, Earth Power works up against the Torkoal, but who could they possibly, like, have for late game? It's got to be Ursaluna, right? So I'm thinking of just ripping Moon or Blood Moon into this. Now, you know, we're just going to rip an Earth Power. Frigraph, I am worried about a little bit, but not too crazy. If I can waste out some turns, we'll be fine here. So I'm going to rip an Earth Power into the Torkoal slot. I'd love to just dump on it. I would love to just dump on it. The Polythos is going to come out here. We're going to set the rain. The rain is flying. Now, it'll be a big time play for them to swap Torkoal right now, but they're not going to. They're going to hit that Terra button, and it seems like this has got to be Fire Torkoal, right? Show me Fire Torkoal. Yep, Fire Torkoal popping out here. So this is a great call for us just to slow the game down, wait for the Torkoal to come out here, put the Polythos out. I'm surprised he didn't, like, read it here. Eruption is going to fly, and this rain really going to help us out tremendously, even though it's still going to do some damage. Oh, my lord, that's ugly. That's real ugly. Second launch. Do not KO me. Do not. You're telling me. You're telling me I die. You're telling me I die there. Oh, man, that hurts. Oh, man, that hurts. All right. So looking at this, I think just protecting the season. We're going into a dark terror is really not bad for me. So right now, they're looking at me like, hey, I can just Psychic this slot down. He's Poison and Fighting. But I can just go Dark Type, finish off for a Graph, and Weather Ball this slot. Because right now, it's going to be Rain, and if they swap, I'm guessing they have Ursaluna. Yeah. Not Ursaluna. Yeah, Ursaluna. It is Ursaluna. All right, cool. So Weather Ball can do respectable damage here. I'm going to Thrasalize Dark, just so this Throw Chop can KO. Man, if I had Ursaluna for an extra turn, that'd be so big for us. And now this Twerk will come back and just start erupting. Oh, this is going to get ugly. This is going to get ugly. Psychic's on launch into this slot. Okay. Polyto is going to be able to take a crit. What is going on here? But I have Berry. What is going on here with my Pokemon taking so much damage? It's fine. Let's see how much damage Weather Ball does. Because Weather Ball, I can see a KO in here. In the rain stab? Super effective? That's not KO. That would have been a nice KO there. Third Chop's going to launch. It's going to KO this uh, Frigraph all day. Now we're playing from here. So I still have Protects. I do still have Protects. And the question is, do I have to go for a double Protect? <laughs> it's like, oh, man. Oh, man. How many turns left in Trick Room? It's got to be two. It's got to be two, right? Because they Final Gambit. They end up going into Torkoal. I swapped. I attacked yet. Yeah, it's, it's two for sure, right? If it's one, I would cry. But I believe it's two, right? Mm-hmm. It's two. All right. Could go for the double, double protect. We don't have focus. We die out to eruption. That's the problem here. We die out to eruption. That's that's the main problem here. I ha I think I have to go for a double, double protect. Because what I think is just going to happen here is they're going to go for Eruption, which Eruption just KOs Sneasler, and then they double down into Politoed. So I I, I, th I I really do believe we have to go for the double, double protect. And just hope, I don't know, just hope for the best. The Torkoal's going for Weather Ball. Yeah, so, oh, Eruption wouldn't have popped out here. So Weather Ball and Facade, yeah. So, I mean, they're both KOing us. They're both can We have to just go for double, double protect. It's the, it's the only way because we're, we're not we're not soaking them up. We're not we're just simply not soaking them up. There's a chance that Polytoad soaks up. There is a chance that Polytoad does soak up, but we're again we're we're I think we're better off just double, double protecting. Weather Ball is just gonna KO us, so yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Hurts, man. It hurts. We're going for RNG. Hoping RNG's on our side. Polytoad misses. Can I go one for two? Can I go one for two? 
No, 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 not even one for two. So let's see if I was correct on this. So weather ball gonna fly this? Yeah, like we had to land double, double, double protect. We had to weather ball gonna launch. Yeah, see, we're getting tapped up by that. And then facade, I think, cleans up the mess. And even if we do soak it now, our Sneasler's just gone. And we really need Sneasler. There's facades, guts, stab. Sorry, Pogito. Thanks for playing. Yeah, so double double protect was the right call. We just need an RNG on our side. Did not get it. Not even half of it. GG to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. Moving on to our final match. And we just lost to somebody in the top 200. Now, for some reason, we're facing somebody 175. I don't get it. It's fine. We're going up against Archeludon in the ring. Now, this one is going to be tough. Archeludon, obviously, just ridiculously strong. But Ursaluna could be good. And it could kind of counter that, especially being a ground type Pokemon. Um, and special attacking, which is great. But they have two Intimidate Pokemon. Actually, one Intimidate Pokemon. One, the other one's Defiant with King Gambit. And I think Kilowatch is going to be a solid leader, considering it thrives out in the rain and it has competitive. So I'm going to go into you. And I'm also going to lead Rillaboom. And bring Sneezer Lake in. Because they have no terrain. I can just like let terrain sit on the field for a little bit. And then kind of go from there. So we'll go Sneezer and then Ursaluna. That is something I do like. Sneasel's going to be great here. It's just going to be super effective onto a ton of Pokemon with close combat. Archer Lunon, King Gambit, and even Incineroar. And then it has Dire Claw to deal with that uh, Sinisha. So I like the options that we have on the scene, but I just feel as like Rain with Archer Lunon is just ridiculously strong. It's just so strong at this point. It's like if you don't have like a perfect counter to it or if you're not using it, you're usually losing to it. So let's see. Let's see what they got Rob in your turn one. It's going to be Dragonite Incineroar, so competitive boost is going to go into pop here, which is really good for us. Um, Grassy Surge is going to come out here first, so I'm not forced to terrestrialize my Kilowattle and the Ghost if I was worried about Fake Out, because I can just Fake Out the Incineroar before he Fakes Out us, because we're faster. And I can tell because of how the, uh, the abilities popped up on screen. So from here, I mean, I'm just going to rip a Thunderbolt into you. Or I could set up a Tailwind. Nah, plus two Thunderbolt, way better for us. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to fake out the Incineroar. He might even swap Incineroar. He does not, which is good. So we just fake it out. Make it flinch turn one. And I still have Focus Ash, which is good news. And E-Speed going to fly here and do a ridiculous amount of damage. E-Speed always doing big time damage. So we got Thunderbolt launching. I'm curious to see if that was... If that was, what's it called? If that is a uh, multi-scale. But... Kind of seems like your choice in the E-Speed, so I can just go into this Terra. And probably just U-Turn Pivot into Incineroar, just double down. I mean, E-Speed's looking scary, man. I don't I don't think that's multi-scale. I think this has got to be Inner Focus. So I'm just going to double down Incineroar here. With a Ghost Terra. A little bit of Ghost Terra action. So I want to keep my Kilowatch on the field a little bit longer. Another turn or two would be really good. I maybe should have popped Tailwind, but... I mean, if you're e-speeding, that could just be tough for us. But we're going to pivot out here. We're going to go Kilowattro. I think we might see a Flare Blitz pop here. There's the e-speed. We're dodging it. There's no way you're doubling down into Kilowattro. There's just no shot. And Thunderbolt's going to launch, do great damage here. And U-Turn's pivoting out before he even attacks. So I think he's going for a Flare Blitz. Um, and if that's the case, I don't know. I'm still just going to go into you because you get that defense boost. With the seeds. So I'm going to go into Sneasel. There's no way you're attacking my Kilowattle. I'd be so upset if you are. I'm going to pop those grassy seeds. Give me that defense boost, baby. Defense boost out and about. Flare Blitz, what are we going to see? We're going to see Parting Shot, which, eh. That's okay. That's okay. So Parting Shot flies here. They got E-Speed ready to roll. Um, I'm full HP, so I can eat up an E-Speed for sure. Unless you choose to Terrastalize. We got speed cooking. My Pokemon are fast. And Pelipper comes out here. So Pelipper's here. Um, we're most likely going to see a Terra type of like grass fly out from him. So I think just ripping a Hurricane might be our play. So I'm going to go Hurricane and let's go Dire Claw here. Or do I just like protect Sneasler? Or even swap back into Rillaboom. I think you got to be like, there's a chance at your choice. I'm just going to protect Sneasler. I'm just going to rip a hurricane. I think like a grass terror could potentially pop out here. We're going to withdraw. 
I think there is a chance that a Grass Terra Pelipper can come out here, thinking I'm going for an Electric Shot. So he's gonna go into Sneasel. He's just gonna boost my damage even more. I'm plus four on on a uh, special attack. I'm plus four. And here's the Terra. I'm reading Grass Terra here. That's why I'm ripping Hurricane. Chances are your focus has regardless, and you just want to get off Tailwind. But I'm going Grass Terra here. Round, okay. That's fine. Hurricane works with that. You think I'm going for Thunderbolt? I'm not going for Thunderbolt. Sorry, little Paloops. I'm just going to protect Sneasel. I'll probably swap it next turn. And Hurricane is going to launch. Plus four. If you're not focused, Ash, I think you're dead. You're dead. See you later, Pelipper. See you later, Terra type. Nice little read on our end. We thought it was grass, but still, that worked perfectly. We did predict the Terra overall. So Killer Watch was just chilling on the field. And that's big time news for us, considering it's so fast, 194 speed. They can't E-speed it down with Dragonite. They can't fake it out. And they're forced to go into Arch Ludon. So Arch Ludon chilling here, it's it's time for us to just to attack it, right? Or I could just get rid of you. Honestly, protecting Killer Watcher might be the play. And close combating this Incineroar. Might be even better for us. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Just gonna play it safe. They don't have Terra. <clears throat> they gotta be attacking this Killwatchel. Close combat launches. <coughs> and I'm really hoping this Arch Lion is just attacking my Killwatchel. Because if that's the case, then I can just get rid of Dragonite next turn. And turn this match around. He's gonna go for an Electro Shot. This has gotta be in the Killwatchel. He's gonna get that special attack boost. This has got to be in the Kilowattrel. Yep. Nice big time protect from your boy. Nice big time protect from your boy. Now Dragonite comes out here. We're going to hard swap Sneasler. We're going to bring out Ursaluna. And we're just going to Thunderbolt this slot down. We're just going to KO you. Actually, would Hurricane do more? Yeah, Hurricane would do more. So I'm just going to Hurricane you. And... I'm going to hard swap Sneasler just so we get the stats back. And do I go into... We know... We know that Kilowattle's dead this turn. We already know that. We know Kilowattle's dead. So who do I swap into? I'm going to swap into Ursula. There is a chance Electro Shot could fly into the Sneasler slot. But I want my stats back. Like, I'm... I'm... I'm minus two on attack. Minus one on defenses. Sneezer needs to swap. So I'm going to swap an Ursula in here. Hurricane's going to launch. Plus four. Bye-bye, Dragonite. Kilowattro is ripping this matchup. And chances are, again, he's just going to go for an Electro Shot. Take out my Kilowattro. If this goes to the Ursula in the slot, that'd be big. <clears throat> that'd be big time news. But yeah, that Ghost Terror on Kilowattro was insanely huge. This thing should have been dead. Oh, he went into Ursula. In a... We'd love it. We'd love it. So that's going to be game. That's going to be game. But yeah, I was sitting there. I was, I was like, I was like, we're gonna, we're gonna ghost terror just to get like one or two more turns from Kilowattle, and it turned into like five more turns. And this thing is just going crazy now. Uh, I'm gonna tailwind just so Ursula can get some speed going with him, and I'm just gonna Earth Power launch it because I mean Kilowattle, not very effective shots, but still plus four. It's really good. But Earth Power can do a ridiculous amount of damage, and it's just one tap and Arch Ludon. So. GG's to our opponent. Top 100 opponent, 175 to be exact. We end up taking him down, and we're moving up the ranks. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The regional bird of Paldea absolutely lighting it up in the ranked regulation H ladder. Everything went perfect today. The ghost terror type was amazing in match number three, taking away fake out and east speed attacks on the killer watch. Competitive went nuclear, bringing this Pokemon to plus four, and then it was just doing crazy damage with Thunderbolt and Hurricane all around. And then Tailwind Speed Control came in clutch at the end. Killwatch was just all around an absolute beast of a Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.